We're Ben and Emily. We travel the UK waterways on our narrowboat with our cat Alan. Recently, we've been traveling up the Langochlan Canal towards the town of Langochlan. It's been an amazing journey. We crossed the highest canal aqueduct in the world. It was an unforgettable experience, though afterwards there were some unexpected twists and turns. We've now arrived, so join us as we explore Langochlan and its surrounding areas. So we're still in the uh, basin at Langochlan, but we're going for a day out to Conwy. You go see the castle, aren't we, and the bridge and everything? Yeah. So we thought um, we'd go and explore some of Wales while we were still here. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've left it a bit late, but because it's like half eleven and it goes dark at three or something. No, maybe no, a bit later. Four. Have a bit of a day out. We've climbed steep. This is incredible. I've only been out five minutes. I know, it's such a nice drive and such amazing weather. I'm so excited to see the sea. We haven't seen the sea for ages, have we? We're here! We're gonna go find some chips. This castle looks incredible. Park right next to it. Oh god, this is so dodgy! Quick! <laughs> You'll have to ex excuse the uh, misted up screen again, I'm waiting for a new camera, because this one is still full of water. I'm going to go find some chips now. This one looks Feeling better? Yeah. Right, let's go exploring. Well, that was a bit vertigo y. We're on the walls. Oh, God, really high up. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's a cool view, though. His strength has grown and he's higher up than before. <laughs> You're not sure, are you? You're not very good with heights. My boats are good. Fill your belly and get ready to sail. Do not fear the songs of whales. Conway Castle was built between 1283 and 1287 as part of a string of castles known as the Ring of Iron constructed across Wales by King Edward I. It was built to reassert English dominance over North Wales, who were fiercely independent at the time. Right, best get up prison tower then. <laughs> wow, so wherever there's ridges in the wall, that was another floor. And then the roof's gone at some point. The castle's location was chosen for defensive purposes on a rock above the estuary of the River Conway, but also because it was a location of the Abbey of St Mary, which held the grave of Llewellyn the Great, who was King of Wales between 1228 and 1240. By building the castle here, Edward was symbolising his importance and his authority over Wales. Oh my God, I'm stuck again. <laughs> It is very <laughs> It's like four storeys or something. Five storeys. I've got to get back down now. <laughs> I'm trying to relax, believe it or not. <laughs> there he is. 
So 200 years before King Edward built this castle, there was a fortress built on these hills over here in the continuing attempts to take rule over Wales. Facts. From Benny. Benny's facts. Benny's facts. I like these circular rooms. Yeah, I bet it was great living in a circular room. I would really love to live in a circular room, actually. Feng Shui pleasing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does feel nice. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the bakehouse, bakehouse tower. I'm guessing this is where they baked. Oh, yeah. Good pizza oven. Yeah. King's chamber. Oh, here we go. There's the king. Absolutely mint a fireplace as well. That's <laughs> massive. Guess if you're the king. I think the stones just got robbed. Ow. I'm guessing the, there was a ceiling here. Yeah. Should we go up there? <laughs> the train tubes. So the train goes through that tunnel. This is Telford. this is a Thomas Telford special. The guy who built a lot to do with the canals. And to your right, that's the first ever tubular bridge in the world. First tubular bridge? Because it's wrought iron. Oh, wow. What an amazing view. So that chain suspension bridge there, built by Thomas Telford in 18... 26. It's a chain bridge, chain suspension bridge. So it's very similar to the one that's in Kangochlan. Although I don't know if he built that one. But it's impressive. Stay hydrated. Are we going all the way up? Uh, Should we get all the way up? We haven't been right to the top. Could sit here and keep an eye on your your lands. It's also a little bit chilly on the buttocks. It's stone, I guess. I feel like they would have had cushions. So we found a medieval toilet. Toilet roll goes there. Soap there. Bog brush there. Soap. And then you just squat over it. The magazine rack was here. Perfect. With hello. Very modern. Cosmopolitan. Yeah. And there's even a viewing hole. Oh, nice. So you didn't have telly. Do you watch telly when you're on the toilet? Oh, it's about it down. <laughs> How would you feel about sailing? I'd be interested to try it. It's a whole different boating experience than narrow boating, isn't yeah. it? I'd love to try it. Not as easy to moor up. Definitely doesn't seem it anyway. Well, I sleep one night, you keep sailing, then you sleep the next night, I keep sailing. So now we seem to be on the highest point, or one of the high four. This is the highest one to me though, I reckon. <laughs> Whoa! Yep, made it to the highest bit. So we're gonna go and find a little cafe somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. In the town. Perfect. After a big castle. <laughs> After a big castle. Just what you need, a massive coffee. If you're going around a massive castle, you need a massive coffee. <laughs> Biggest hot chocolate I've ever had. Yeah, good pint, decent pint. It's gonna be wired after this. You've done really well there. Yeah. Right, you need a hand. Yeah. What have you got to show us? So now we're gonna go look at the UK's smallest house. I don't think we can get in it though. It's right down here. It's not the world's smallest house. The world's smallest house is tiny. But this is pretty small. <laughs> what is the world's smallest house? It's tiny. <laughs> it's here some really it wonky is. Uh,
So it looks like it's sort of built into the old castle walls. Yeah. Do you know what? What? I think they built the white one and then they thought, hang on, we've got an extra metre and a half, we've nothing there, let's just build another tiny little house. Otherwise it'd be a waste of space, wouldn't it? <laughs> I guess. Just crack another one Tell on the side. Tell you what would be great if, if the top, because the door opens in the middle, if the top one opened and there's like a Shetland pony in it. That's just where he a, lives. There's like a bow tie on or something. <laughs> oh, you can walk up that bit. Have you fallen in love? Yeah. It's got two, two propellers. Oh. <laughs> um, I think I'm sinking. No, it's just got one propeller on one side. Right, we're in. Okay. <laughs> this is so dodgy. Go over to the dry bit over there. So It's a bit far from home. Look at the anchor on that as well. Wow, look at Island Reach. Um, I think we should get off this bit now, Benny. Sticky. Not <laughs> This boat's beautiful. Just a little step up. <laughs> So we've just found a solar powered chair. Charge your phone in here. Pretty cool. Realization of the terrible. I know there has to be a way. I know there has to be a way. I know there I love how they run and just shout. They're like the moorhens of the sea, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. over the bridge but we're not on the we can't work it out to get on the Tommy Telford bridge can't, can't really work it out this platform <gasps> has a engine on it it kind of looks like there's a barbecue yeah. I'm guessing that's the toll house yeah. how's the old prices Here we go, we found it. That's huge. That'll do the job. It's like the chain bridge in Bangkok in times 10, isn't it? Yeah. It's Obviously this is a lot newer, it's just that um, I think they tried to build it so that it would look a bit similar to the castle. Built in 1826 by Thomas Telford. He didn't build it though, did he? Could you imagine just Thomas with his top off? This <laughs> massive stack of bricks, just like, I'm building this! <laughs> wow. They're like, this is our land! This is our land! Be off! Straight into the brick. Yeah. yeah. Seems a bit mad that they've just stuck it straight into a medieval castle. Right, should we head home then? Yeah. Let's go check up on Alan. Yeah. She's had some quiet time to work on a novel though. Thank God. I didn't know she was writing a novel. She's keeping it low key. Is she? I wonder what it's about. Christmas is coming. Or oh, by the time you see this video, probably Christmas is over. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas. There's no space for pedestrians! Time for the drive home. Bye Castle! We'll be back. That was great. What a nice day out. Highly recommend it. Some kind of Christmas lorry situation. A lorry party. <laughs> what is going on?
It's a float, isn't it? It's like float at Christmas. I bet Santa's in that one. Are you right? Santa's in that one. Yeah, Santa's at Santa! <laughs> well, everyone is being driven by Santa. <laughs> <laughs> It's it seems <laughs> like we've joined the we've joined the thing, Benny. Oh my god. This is gonna take ages to go home. <laughs> Benny's having the time of his life. <laughs> Best put the hazards on. That's why I follow these guys for the rest of the evening now. There's lots of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Benny's having a great time. I feel like we shouldn't be part of this. There's loads of people watching us. This is well embarrassing. Oh dear. Oh, let's get out of it. Look, it says road closed. We're not even supposed to be up here. Closed all the roads, aren't they? Cause... No, how did we get? I'm sure we weren't supposed to be with those lorries. <laughs> it's like no cars allowed down there. <laughs> oh well. That was great. <sighs> I prefer the quiet road, I think. You having a good morning, Alan? We found a tiny sunny spot. So this evening, Adam and Lauren are coming over and we're having a giant Chinese takeaway. Someone told them about this takeaway in Wrexham that's all vegetarian stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have a big feast tonight. And they're nearly here. Are you excited for food? Let's feast. Let's have a feast. <laughs> a wonderful feast. Alan gets big bits. They're here. I feel like we've got a lot of food. Where's and I'm very excited. Where's my other sock? <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's here. What? <laughs> Thanks. So what have we got, Adam? What haven't we got? As she was loading the bags, I was like, what, another bag? What, another bag? <laughs> <laughs> so how should we do it? We put it all out in the middle? Yeah, just yeah. crack it on the table. That way. Oh, oh, wow, it's not even wearing the bandage now. No, I took it off to get it's some not. It. <laughs> It's not. It's <laughs> not. Yeah, so yeah. it does burn. It's just hard to start a fire Yeah, with. you just, yeah, that's To be honest, hard. I think that's what a lot of our wood is at the minute. Crispy chilli beef or the ribs. Yeah. So much food. This is the naughty table. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's our right. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Yeah. It's a banjo. Well, I want for Christmas is a banjo. It is it's a, a banjo. <laughs> a banjo. Is anyone else now making? Last night it got to minus seven and they say this canal does not freeze but I say it's frozen out there. It kept in pretty well last night didn't it? Yeah it stayed there just getting it going nice and good today. It's a little bit chilly but it's not too bad. Alan's warm that's the most important thing. I'm pretty sure there was a duck ice skating at about four o'clock this morning. Yeah, I heard that. Just that really long, sort of slidey, icy, cracky sounds. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Didn't laugh like they did. That's quite a good impression. Yeah, that's what they do.
So I'm going to go for a little walk down to the river with Adam and Lauren. The other day Benny went there and met a little robin that hopped up and sat on his hand and ate some biscuits. So we're going to go for a walk, okay. see if we can find him. He's called Jim, apparently. And then we're going to go for a bit more of a walk down. Those guys want to see the Chain Bridge and Horseshoe Falls. So yeah, we're just going to go for a little walk. It's a bit chilly, but it's lovely. Yeah, but that's different to... Wow! Look at that. Oh, it's like a crystal, doesn't it? Whoa. Uh, how is there a rainbow oh in that? Wow. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Emily is trying. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but struggling. I'm there. I was there for about 10 minutes. But... And fun fact about this wall climber, she used to jump down flights of stairs backwards wearing inline skates. Who wants to see that on the channel? Because we certainly do. Thoughts? Skates back on? No, no. <laughs> Right, we're at the purple in the... Where are we? Benson, so we're at Benson. In Sangothlin. And uh, there's... Yeah, boats are gathering. Yeah, big boats gathering, so... Well... <laughs> <laughs> Gary's crashing the scene. Heidi! Ahoy there, me! Oh, we're looking! Hello! <laughs> I'm looking there! Hello, me hearties! <laughs> it's so lovely to be with people of my own age. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, Lauren, and everyone. Yeah, so it's super nice. I think they've churned it into like snow, haven't they? No, oh, yeah. Oh, look how thick it is. Oh, that can't be good for the propeller. <coughs> Then go, do all them that don't think the land off would freeze us? Yeah, yeah, that's a bit bad, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it didn't it freeze here. <laughs> it do not freeze often, but when it freezes, it's freezy. <laughs> we freed the boats at last. Look how thick that is. What's the word they use? Therapeutic. Therapeutic. Oh, see if we can get this one over. You be careful. Oh. Yeah, you can't lift that one. No. <laughs> Not from that angle. <laughs> what is it? Two, Two and, and, half. and a half. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so now we're floating again. We haven't been floating for days. Um, and I think you can see why, because we were stuck in two and a half inches of ice. But um, it's much warmer today. It's like just one degrees rather than minus four or whatever it was. 
um, and by Monday, which is in about three days, it's going to be 14 degrees. So that's when we're going to leave. But yeah, it just feels nice to be floating again. I didn't like that. We weren't. I didn't really like that we weren't moving. And that higher boat as well. It's like pushing really thick pieces of ice towards our boat. And I didn't want to end up like the Titanic. I don't know if you can remember, but earlier in the year, we foraged some fruits and got this wine brewing. It's um, damson, elderberry and blackberry. Yeah. So now is the time to stick it into bottles. Finally. It's smelling very winey and nice. It's looking a good colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Nice it's very rich. We've got another demijohn full the same as this. Oh, that one's a bit full. So when will that be ready to drink? Well, it might be ready now. We can try it, but it's probably best if we leave it for another seven years. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. We can try it and see. Because it's already like, what, four months old or something. So we'll update you when we drink it and let you know what it's like. I've bottled the wine. So here is a label that I made thrown and it's a picture if it's not obvious it's a picture of alan on emily's dad's knee because we call his knee the throne because the, his knee's the throne because that's what she gets on whenever she gets chance he's not here is he he's in spain you miss him don't you good morning hi so we've been here for a while it's time to go it's time to carry on our magical adventure yeah We've absolutely loved being here and we're pretty sad to go because we've made some friends. We've made lots of friends. We're getting itchy feet, so... And the weather's got a lot warmer today, so it seems like a good opportunity to move. Although I just looked and apparently there's 45 mile an hour gust winds, so... Gust winds! Heck! <laughs> yes. <laughs> so hopefully they're at our back. Oh my God. We um, as we've mentioned before, the this canal has a flow, but now we're going with it, so it's going to be a lot faster and a lot less hard work hopefully we're just going to try and get at least to the big aqueduct that we can't pronounce still because we don't fancy going yeah. over it with those big winds yeah so it might just uh, flick us off no don't say things like that. i'm already worried enough as it is <laughs> let's get going let's do this let's see what happens today bye <laughs> so we're off that was our spot Hopefully, once we're in the trees... Oh, my eyes are watering. Back. We're just going to get to where we stopped after the aqueduct on the other way. Which is a short forested section. See how it... Let's see how it goes. Yeah. It might be all right. might be fine. This is where Benny dropped the phone in the water. About there. Do you remember? I'll never <laughs> forget that. Are you kidding me? decided uh, not to go over the big aqueduct today because there's 50 mile an hour winds in the town so being however high up in the air in that kind of wind might be a bit dodgy yes we don't want you to get blown off <laughs> or me or alan just like that our measure of time is really confusing because what took us about three hours on the way up it's taken us about an hour and a half on the way back. It's that. It's good to be out and about. We're free. Chose a happy day for it. <laughs> Glad to be Italian. Have no control over the boat.
could go possibly go wrong. Let's just see how wet you are. <laughs> I don't know if this is coming across. Alan, don't go out there. Don't go out there, Alan. Well, we're all safe and warm inside now. Benny's got a nice fire going, just drying all of our trousers and everything. It's just funny how everyone was like, why are you leaving the basin? I'm like, no, we're gonna go today. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was full on, but fun. What are we having for food then, Bunny? We're having like a, I don't know, it's quite strange. <laughs> it's like a teriyaki beef sandwich with miso, buttered with miso. That's what the mad weather does to us, isn't it? We're just chilling now. All is calm. Inside. Finally. Outside it is not calm. You happy, Alan? Alan, Alan fits so perfectly onto Emily's knee. But if you touch her, she sticks her claws in your kneecap. It is stormy out there. That was a wobble. It's quite scary. Is the chimney back on? No. I don't think it's a good idea to put it back on. It'll probably yeah. blow away. That's what I thought. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't done already, check out our other episodes. And please remember to like and subscribe to follow us on our travels. See you next week. Bye.